and welcome to News on the Hill. Before we begin our beautiful morning, stand up, place your right hands over your hearts, and let's say the pledges to our flags. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one indivisible. don't know where all these prints are coming from. It's a mystery. Whom do they belong to? You know, there's some footprints that you just can't erase. What do you mean? I'm talking about something we all do. We all leave footprints online. They're called digital footprints. Every time you go online to play a game, type an email, or search the internet, you leave a trail. Really? I'm online all the time sharing things. I play online, I post online, I submit and send things online almost every day. Well, since you're online a lot, you have footprints all over the place. And it's really hard to erase these footprints. You mean I can't just clean them up? No, it doesn't work like that. How does it work? Our digital footprint can get really big really quickly, so we need to pause and think when we're online. We need to be safe, responsible, and respectful. Wow! So what should I be careful about not sharing online? Never share private information like your full name, address, telephone number, your age or birthday, or even your school. I guess that makes sense. But what's okay to share then? I share personal information, just not private information. I keep my full name and address to myself, but I feel safe sharing stuff like my hobbies and my favorite things. Okay, I think I've got this. I may have a big footprint online, but I need to make sure what I'm sharing is safe, responsible, and respectful. You got it. It still doesn't solve the mystery of these muddy footprints, though. Aha! Case closed. Remember to pause and think online. If you're not sure what to do, ask a trusted adult first. How big is your digital footprint? Good morning, Park Hill Elementary. It is Tell Me Something Good Tuesday, and I have fifth grader Gracie Young here with me with some exciting news. So, Gracie, tell me what's going on with you. Well, I'm an aunt to a cute little boy named Sakani, and I'm so happy that I just get to be an aunt and I get to help out with them because I'm so excited. Just to yes, be that is so exciting. Mm -hmm. Well, that is wonderful. Thank you for sharing your good news with us. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. Also, a quick note for all of the fifth graders that are a Park Hill ambassador, we have our first meeting this Friday. It is during, yeah, it's during lunch. So you're going to go to the cafeteria if you're buying a cafeteria lunch and you're going to get your lunch and you will meet me in the science lab. We'll be meeting right on the fifth grade wing in the science lab. So we'll see you there Friday. Y'all have a great day. 
Good morning, boys and girls. Well, it is Tuesday, and remember we talked about yesterday, this being National School Safety Week. Yesterday, we learned about see something, say something, and today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about fire safety. There are some things that we can do to stay safe as possible if there were a fire. One of the first things that's important for us to have in all of our homes, and we have them in our schools, is smoke alarms. These are things that you might see like around the ceiling in your house. It makes a beep and it alerts your family if there's smoke so that you can get out of the house. That leads me to the next point, which is in your house, you guys need to know two ways to get out of every room in your house. That might be through a door or knowing how to break a window to get out of your home quickly. So talk to your family about that. And then the third one is, if you did need to get out of your house quickly, just like we do at school, we have a meeting location that we go to. So even at home, your family needs to decide if your home were to catch on fire, where would you all meet? That lets everybody know that you're all safe if you know where to meet outside of your home. So be sure to talk to your parents about that. Ask them, do we have smoke alarms? Do we know how to get out of each room in our house? And what is our meeting location in case there were a fire? We wanna keep everybody safe. Thank you.